Elon Musk bought Twitter and Mr. Beast might be the next CEO. During 2022 Elon Musk tweeted saying, if I die under mysterious circumstances, it's been nice knowing you, which Mr. Beast replied, if that happens can I have Twitter. Surprisingly Elon tweeted back, okay. This is what Mr. Beast had to say. I think he should make me CEO, like I tweeted. I think the most exciting thing is, Mr. He's, Beast, you know, willing listen, to move fast. Just ask the most so powerful I think there's going to be a lot of interesting things well, that come out anymore, of it. But still, because just he's just moving quicker. A lot of these more mature platforms just take when years to do the simplest and stuff. He just simply the says, OK. Um, so it's going to, I mean, it'll be interesting to see which way it goes. When you just kind of take a move quick, break things, whatever type approach to social media, uh, I'm actually pretty curious to see what features he rolls out. I think Twitter will always be closer to TikTok than it is to YouTube. Like, I, at least in its current form. Like, I don't, I don't see 20 minute, one hour long videos or whatever, you know, even 15 minute videos being watched over there. I see it more as like the short and snappy stuff closer to TikTok. I mean, it's almost weird why, like why doesn't Twitter allow you to embed YouTube videos? Like why, why does, that, you should just ask Elon that. Like, I don't know if that's a YouTube thing, but when a YouTuber posts a video, why do they have to link to YouTube? Why can't they just embed it in Twitter and just play it there? I mean, wouldn't that just solve a lot of problems? I mean, well, it's more of a win for Twitter because then people don't have to leave the platform. But it would still be YouTube. But at least then, right now, people just post a link and it takes you off Twitter and it just kills your session time on Twitter. On Reddit, you're going to get uh, the top replies are going to be the most refined ones, whereas Twitter stuff flows to the top that's not super refined. But like you're saying, it's more off the cuff stream of consciousness, which a lot of people prefer. It's a little more personal. Users will jump over if Twitter could potentially pay more uh, than other platforms. And I was just saying, obviously, because Google has Google AdWords, and, and that's Google's whole thing is putting ads on stuff. They've been doing it better than anyone else in the world for a very long time. It's very unlikely in the next few years that Twitter is going to just magically, or any platform, you know, give a creator the ability to make higher CPMs than on YouTube. Uh, it's it's kind of crazy. Like some creators. In, in December, you know, Q4 because ad rates are higher because of Christmas and everything. Some creators literally make like thirty, forty dollars per thousand views, and that's after YouTube's cut. Like, it's almost like hard to think about like how high the RPMs get. And even then, once you pull out of finance and cars, the high CPM niches, and you move into just normal stuff, it's still just crazy. The sheer volume of creators and the fact that all of them get these multi-dollar CPMs at scale—it's pretty beautiful.